Media at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and today I wanted to go over, well, quickly go over the creation of a tree in Unity 3 Beta 2. So we go up to Game Objects menu, go to Create Other, click Tree. Now right away it gives you a tree in your project, in your project folder for your prefab for this tree and I'll also place one in your hierarchy. Now I've moved the inspector over just so it's a little closer to both screens so you can see uh, what's happening as I adjust the properties. But let's actually select this tree, move it in front of my camera. So we're about there. All right. Let's push this up a little bit. All right, so let's click on this tree. And you'll notice uh, you have your regular inspector properties. You have your transform. If you scroll down, you have two materials for it. One for the leaf, one for the bark. And you can select different uh, normal maps and color maps for it if you wish. I'm not going to be playing with those. I'm just going to go on the actual generation of the tree, which is done through the tree script here. So let's just start off by clicking on the root node and we'll go down to the distribution. Now you can set a random tree value if you wish. And if you notice as you slide it around it basically just changes the base shape of the your first branch or your trunk. Area spread, if you have more than one branch coming off it, so we'll add another branch. Change the area spread. I'm sorry, area spread, what, what it does is it changes, if we zoom in on the tree, the amount of area that tree can take up. There we go, we can go to the geometry, you can set your level of detail quality. Move this up here, gives a little bit more room. Uh, ambient occlusion and ambient occlusion density. So we'll, we've added two branches. Whoops, I've added three branches. Let's just get rid of this one. We just hit delete. I'm actually just going to make a single trunk tree. So run right to the first branch which comes off our root node. So off of that, we're going to hit add branches. We'll select it again and hit it one more time. So we have two more branches coming off of what we're going to call our trunk. So let's select that trunk and look at its properties. They're all branches, so they all have the exact same uh, properties that you can play with. Let's start off with the distribution. You have the group seed. Now this, again, is just uh, randomizes. We've already played with that. You can change the frequency, which will add more trunks. So if we zoom in and take a look here, we make quite a mess. Uh, I believe it's the growth angle. Yeah. So if you can access this through script, I haven't tried yet, but if you can, you could probably make some fairly cool in-game uh, animations with it. Okay, so let's just go back to one main trunk. We'll go to the geometry. Now you have a level of detail multiplier, so you can actually adjust the level of detail that's going to be shown above or lower than the rest of the tree. I'm just going to leave it at its default one. Now geometry mode, you have branch, fronts, and branch and fronts. Now front is, if you don't know, it's like a palm tree. It has the leaves on a palm tree, the big veins going through it. I'm just going to make a regular tree, so we'll just leave it at branches only. Now you want to select a material. I'm just going to steal the Adler trunk, or yeah, the Adler trunk material. We'll close it. As you can see, it's just got the the texture for the Adler trunk. Let's go over to the shape. Okay, there's a few properties here. One is the length. Now you can just slide this bar across the screen to adjust the size of your tree that you want. And you can also take these end pieces 
to adjust the range of the size you want. So let's bring that back down. So it's basically, this is your scale. I'm going to bring this back down a bit more. So we'll do it like that. Then there's your radius. You can make the trunk fairly thick. You zoom out a bit. Or you can make it thin. Now these options work on all the branches. So when you get up here to your branches that we're going to have coming out to the side, you can do the same thing with it. Uh, is length relative? So the branches are going to be relative or affected by the length. Cap smoothing. Uh, if you have, if you want to make like a cactus, that's what this is for. Let's put that back down. Uh, growth, crinkiness. You can make uh, so like a bonsai tree. Twist it all up. Uh, seek sun. We'll make it point towards the sun. Uh, other options you can use instead of using the slider if you want is you can click on this little box over here and it pops up a curve editor for you. Now you can select one of the, the defaults or you can actually grab the ends and move them around as well. Now they're Bezier curves so you can really get in there and make some changes to it if you want. So we're just going to leave it like that. It's a little gnarly and twisted. Uh, let's straighten it up a bit. Not too much though. Alright. So the noise, you can affect the surface noise of the the trunk. Uh, or at least what I'm calling the trunk. It's, it, remember it affects all branches. As you can see it moves around a bit. And you can also adjust the UV noise. And the flare affects well the radius. If you notice down at the bottom, you make the tree much fatter at the bottom if you want. The height, which makes the flaring move up. And the flare noise. Again, just moves it around. You don't want it too blocky, but if you look over, if I click off of it, the bottom now looks like it has so it breaks into four different roots that go in. That's another thing I noticed with the geometry for the tree. If you're looking towards the light, well, it could just be the side actually, because I always have my light up facing that way. You can see the seam, but you won't be able to on this side. If I turn my light off, it might. Uh, turn itself off. Nope. So if any Unity people are watching, I can see a scene. <laughs> but still, it's a beta. The tree generator is pretty awesome. Okay, so let me see. We did shape. Breaking. Now you can have it where it breaks off. We go up to the top of the tree. If you notice when I slide this across, it starts breaking off a chunk. So you can have broken branches, and you can also assign another material for that, as well as your front material. I don't want any broken branches, so I'm just going to leave this up there. You can also change the break location that will break, and also the scale. Uh, animations, create a wind zone. I briefly covered that in the tutorial before this when I was making the terrain. But I'm not going to add a wind zone. So I'm going to go up to these other branches that I have coming off the, what I'm going to call the main trunk. So we're going to go back to distribution. I'm going to increase the frequency. 10 sounds good. I'm going to play around the seed a bit to get them. Actually, I'm going to change it over to. I believe it's pronounced world. That just puts them in the center. That's not too bad. And there's different options. There's alternate, which just looks like that. It goes one and the other. Then you also have opposite. 